Seeing the E298 error on your Nest thermostat can be frustrating. It basically means your thermostat isn't getting power from your HVAC system. I'll walk you through the proven fixes step by step. If one doesn't solve it, just move on to the next. By the end, you'll know whether it's a simple DIY fix or if it's time to call in a pro. First, let's make sure your HVAC system is actually sending power. Go to your home's breaker panel and check if the breaker for your furnace or AC has tripped. If it has, flip it back on. Also, some HVAC units have a small low voltage fuse, usually a 3 to 5 amp blade type fuse on the control board. If that's blown, replacing it might bring your nest back to life. And here's a quick tip. Many HVAC units have safety switches on their covers. If the panel isn't properly closed, the switch cuts power completely. So double check that the cover is securely in place. Next, take a look at the wiring. Loose or corroded wires, especially the R or C wire, are a common cause. Make sure they're straightened, stripped about half an inch, and seated firmly in their terminals. Now some systems actually need a C wire to provide constant power. If your setup doesn't have one, you can use a multimeter to test between R and C. If there's no 24 volts, you might need to add a C wire or install the nest power connector. In some cases, the transformer inside your HVAC might fail, meaning the nest won't get any power even if the wires look fine. If you're running AC, this one's important. A clogged condensate drain can trigger a float switch, which shuts off power to protect your system from water damage. Check the PVC drain line and the drain pan under your indoor unit. Clear out any blockages, and if you have a condensate pump, make sure it's working properly. I've seen cases where simply clearing a clogged drain line instantly fixed the E298 error. Sometimes the thermostat itself just needs a reset. Pop off the display and charge it with a USB cable for at least 30 minutes before reconnecting. Also, go into the Nest app and confirm your wiring settings. Sometimes it just needs to be re-registered. And while you're at it, check for any pending software updates. Keeping your Nest up to date can prevent future glitches. If none of these steps worked, the issue might be deeper in your HVAC system. Things like a failing control board or an old transformer that isn't delivering enough voltage can cause this error. These parts usually need a technician to diagnose and replace. So if this guide helped you out, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more smart home troubleshooting tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.